Guess who just came in? Right here. We got this box. I already opened it because I wasn't too sure what it was. But we've got oil and an oil filter for my bike. Just gotta change her up every 10 hours. We have to take skid plate off, take the drain plug out, change this filter. Put a new oil filter in. Take the air box, or take the cut this air box cover off. Clean the air filter, put a new one in. Subframe bolt should be coming in soon because the whole rear end moves right now. All right, got the bolt in. And we're out the track with no zang. Oh, yeah. Shredding. It's actually a really nice night out. Just made a new turn track, about to go straight up. You guys wanna see it? Like just a quick one, a little quick laugh. You ready? Ready? Gas it right there at the end. out there for a few hours but we made that new track and it is sick by the way check out the new shop i don't know if you can tell a difference this table used to be wood we now have a stainless we cleaned up this cabinet got this nice cheetah print going cleaned up the table got the workbench got the bikes awesome bike shop now ready to rebuild some bikes update on the cr uh turns out we have the wrong size bushings and spacers and that's why the chain popped off we did not put those wheels and tires on though the previous owner did hopefully we can get that going and get the right wheels get the right spacers and bushings and we'll be ready to shred other than that you guys saw the title of the video i am going to drag race the old matthew saloha in my blaster but first so you haven't seen this thing in a while if you follow the instagram You'll know it, we haven't seen it for a while. And if you also just watch the YouTube, it hasn't been in a video in two weeks. Um, I broke the ignition coil. You can't really see it in there, but I was pulling, pulling the coil off of the spark plug and it just broke. So that I got that, I got a newer one, which is what is in there. So I broke the new one. I'm going to put the older one back in and hopefully it runs right with the older ignition coil. That was the problem last time, but I'm pretty sure they're just like a little thing that was unplugged. Anyways, I'm gonna pop that in and I'll get right back to it. Hey, um, has anyone seen the 10? So this is the new one that I put in, but it broke. This is the old one that came with it and I'm hoping this guy will work. Let's see. Oh, got her hooked up right there. And it's going to the other side. Right here onto the spark plug. If it works, I'm gonna zip tie it up, but if it doesn't work, we'll have to fix it. This thing hasn't ran in weeks, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna attempt to flame anodize my dad's CR250 pipe. Getting her cleaned up right now first. So we failed. We tried doing it a little bit, but didn't turn out well, so we just sanded it down. We got bigger problems though. If you look right here, that's where my little nipple's supposed to come out. Yeah, it disappeared, it got sucked in. 
she's flat. We gotta go run to the pony and pick up a new tube. Two hours later. Oh, just delivered the spoons. Let's go slap her on. Nice spoon. Another nice spoon. Another nice spoon. Gotta figure out how to work these now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for my dad. To the blaster and why you guys haven't seen this in a while the coil i broke it when i was trying to take it off the spark plug it just fell into pieces so i'm taking the old one put it back on and it was still doing that sputtering thing so we rigged this piece right here is from the old one on the new coil because this is what broke on the old one and hopefully it works but let's just get her rigged up finally got her hooked up some sometimes these screws can be kind of difficult to put back in but it's all good we also got What's up? Jackson Phelps. Let's go. Pop the seat back on. And we're ready. All right, let's see if she starts it. So this video is supposed to be blaster versus blaster drag race. My blaster is not running right. I need to buy a new ignition coil. I didn't realize that I had to do that. I thought that that one would have worked. Turns out it didn't. So I'm taking my bike to the track meeting. Matthew there hopefully. And so we can hopefully, hopefully get some blaster content. No promises though. But let's go. Ooh. Just made it here. Just got word from Matthew. He said he cannot make it today. So no good blaster content for you guys but we do have the husky hope you like that and we got jackson so we shred do it oh no i forgot to stand <laughs> it's like i'll be leaning her up letting Jackson take a turn on the, on the turn track next week's video <clears throat> like Tuesday after you're watching this should hopefully be like 75% blasters but uh here it comes
Got everything packed up. It's getting pretty laid out. Ugh. And I'll, I'll see you back at the house. Nice little sesh. Just got back from the track and wrapping it up for tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Before we leave, check out this pipe. Oh, custom at home flame anodizing job <laughs> by the pops. Getting her done. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Just ordered the coil for the blaster. She should be in within a few days. Other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday.